I have one superstition that I've had my entire career. I always have to wear my bullet necklace. My mom gave this to me when I was in the seventh grade, faster than a speeding bullet. I only have one experience when I didn't wear it and I got third and I thought, oh no, <laughs> I cannot wear it. It's very, very, very special to me. Today's Thursday and we have our first round, so I'll race today and then the top three and the next three fastest times qualify for the semifinals and then the top eight out of the semifinals make it to the finals on Saturday and that's where the champions decided. The goal for today is just to make it through the rounds. I want to come in the top two and make sure that I get a good lane for the final, but it's all about conserving energy and getting ready for the next two races. You don't want to blow it out here today and your legs aren't fresh for Saturday. I have arguably the best 400 meter coach in the world in Coach Clyde Hart. He coached Michael Johnson to success and Jeremy Weiner. And so he just knows the event like the back of his hand. And if anything, we've just gotten more aggressive and you know, I want to take it one notch higher. Tanya is just part of the family now. Uh, she's just perfect to train, work with. She doesn't question what you do. She just gets out there and works hard. I've only run 51 seconds this year, so I definitely want to run 50. And if I could go sub 50, that would be awesome. But if I get in the 50 range, I feel like I'm progressing right on schedule. I felt pretty good today. I got out well. I felt like my tempo was perfect down the back stretch, which I haven't hit all year. But at the top of the curve, I still felt strong, but I definitely just eased it in. Didn't want to work too hard today, like I said. Tomorrow is when I really need to turn it up. And then of course for the finals, but I feel really good. I wanted to just make sure I was in the top two, and I did that. She did, did exactly what we wanted in the first round. She'll be in position to get a better lane for tomorrow, which is a lot more important tomorrow. Uh, it'll heat up. It's day two in Sacramento. Made it through the first round, felt really good. But today's gonna be a really good heat. It's the semifinals, only the top four make it through. So it's important to run really well and hopefully finish first so you can get a preferred lane. In the 400, you prefer to have lane three, four, five, or six. The curves are bigger, you're in the middle of the field, so you're really in touch with your competition. One and two and seven and eight are not preferred lanes. They're a little bit harder to run out of. So in the semifinals, people are really racing for lanes, wanting to be in the top two to get a great lane. The minute I walk onto the track, I start to run through my race in my head. You don't want to listen for the gun, you want to react to the gun. Sonia Richards-Ross, 49-27, her meet record, US record holder as well. And she goes in this first semi-final. When I get in the blocks, I feel like everything just kind of gets quiet in my mind. I think of the four P's that Coach Hart and I have discussed. Push, pace, position, poise. Away they go. Richard Ross has gone off pretty quickly too in the headband, right in the centre of picture as they enter the back straight. Uh, Richard Ross started pretty sprightly. Look at Richard Ross. Here comes McCrory and Blue. Blue is going to be tied at the line. My mind just really gets clear. I refuse to lose. I refuse to lose. Richard Ross takes it with a dip. 49.94. She is back. That was fabulous. Man, crossing the finish line is the best feeling ever, especially when you've run really well and the time is really great. You almost feel like you didn't run. You get this kind of euphoric feeling all through your body and you forget about the lactic acid and all the pain of the competition. It's just a great joy you feel when you've won and you're the best, especially when you're the best in the world, so it's really special. Tomorrow, because we're not making the team for a World Championships or Olympics, you know, many people would say there's not too much at stake, but there is a national title at stake. I'm a six-time national champion. I want to make it seven. It's also for me about rebounding and being the champion that I'm used to being and winning a big race like this when everyone wants it. For me, it's about going out there and being the one that can do it. Hi, I'm Sonia Richards-Ross, Olympic gold medalist. Follow my journey on teamusa.org.